Hey, mother, this is Jobby and... <laughs> Happy Spooky Month, everybody. And what better way to celebrate the spookiest month of the year than with one of the spookiest stories I've ever read. Devilman. And I think it'll please some of you to learn that I'm actually a fan. On the surface, it seems like a standard superhero thing, and then it gets... dark. Really dark. It's harrowing, it's heartbreaking, and I'm obsessed with it. That's all I'm gonna say about Devil Man. I don't want to get too far into my love. This ain't an anime manga review channel. This is a toy review channel. Every time I do something that's not toy review related, you guys don't watch it. Fuck you all, and check out Red Dress. <laughs> This particular version of Devil Man has nothing to do with what I just said. This was a children's show version of the character. The show was the straightforward superhero show that it appears to be on the surface, even down to including a bitchin' theme song. <laughs> and you know what Devil Man kind of rhymes with? Swivel Man. The child-friendly nature of this design is apparent. He looks goofy as hell, but I do have to admit, the painting and sculpting on this figure is awesome. One of my favorite things about this particular design for Devil Man is his skin color. Do not take that the the wrong. You you okay? You're already tweeting. All right, oh, I really like this particular shade of green, blue, green, blue, green, and I like how the red stripes on the shoulders contrast with that. What I'm not the biggest fan of in this design is the underpants. Now, don't get me wrong. I am a big fan of superhero under. Pants, all right. Superman doesn't look right without him. Batman don't look right without him. But if that's all you're wearing, it tends to look a little weird, right? It doesn't help that this figure actually includes a prominent bulge. Mamma mia! What I'm really trying to say is, Devil Man kind of thick. <laughs> it really is my only point of contention with this design for Devil Man. The upper body looks fantastic. Really, if it was just this upper body with the goat legs of the manga, that would be. Perfect, which is exactly what the crybaby design is. Check out Devil Man Crybaby, and that is my favorite Devil Man design. I hope they make a figure of that soon because the other Devil Man figures on the market, not really my thing. The 90s wants the design aesthetic back. As much as I like the design of the figure so far, there is something sorely missing. His pants. He's missing his wings. Fortunately for us, you get a pair of wings. What you wanna do is go to his back, and that just snaps off and simply plug in the wings. I absolutely love how he looks with the wings on. The wings themselves are super simple, but there's an elegance in their simplicity. And to you pokey fags, does this look a little bit familiar? Yeah. If I had a complaint with these wings, it would be that they're pretty static. You do get one hinge joint, but that's it. Not even a ball joint, not even some kind of other hinge joints that allows for even more flexibility of the wings it's just straight up and down little bit disappointing especially for the price that i got this figure but it's not the worst that could have happened i should also mention the price of this figure i this video is not sponsored at all if at any point during the video you wanted this figure i have no link for you i'm sorry about that but you're gonna have to scour around and you're gonna have to shell out some uh, a pretty penny since we're on the topic of hinge joints i might as well talk about some of the articulation all right ball joint at the base of the neck a butterfly joint he could bend backwards that far and crunch that far hinge joint here and he's even got a toe bend a bicep switch uh <laughs> Uh, uh, shifting, shifting hips. You see there, there's a hinge joint there, and it can, it allows it to, sh I, I, I don't, I don't feel safe. Basically, there's a lot of ball joints here, and I don't want to go through all of them. Yeah, I, I will say though, that the figure's joints here, there is no point of this figure that feels too loose or too tight. It just feels so nice. Not wobbly at all, especially this little up and down at the ankle here. Look at that. Ooh! Ooh! And even though he does have tiny feet, those solid ankle joints here allow him to stand up pretty confidently, even with the weight of the wings on the back. Coming back up to the upper body, the head sculpt, how could I not talk about it? He looks like Batman with stupid little pigtails, but 
that's the iconic devil man look and i couldn't be happier with how it looks in figure form this figure does feature a face changing gimmick but you have to uh, pull off the whole head feels like kind of a waste of plastic this alternate yelling face is fantastic he's yelling in anger when he should be yelling in despair if it were the original manga version you, you know what i mean it was a does anyone get that? You get another stern face, but now he's looking down. Which reminds me, this version of Devil Man is kaiju size for some reason. I, I don't, I don't get that. Is bigger, more children friendly? That okay? That's a little weird. Memes away, right? In addition to alternate heads, you get alternate hands. Default hands are the fists. Uh, you can change them for a pair of chopping hands, and you get a pair of more relaxed. Hand. And for some reason, you get one grabby hand, not even a pair, and I'm not even missing any pieces either. It says so in the instructions here. There's nothing to grab. Unless maybe... <laughs> this is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> nothing like this ever happens in the manga. Uh, uh. Now, let's go to the D. The D is removable, and you can replace it with this alternate D. The Devil Beam, one of Devil Man's most powerful attacks. The sculpting on Devil Beam here is a little strange. I guess this is how it looked like in the kids show, coming out of his crotch, and it is milky white. Ah! You know it was coming. Ah! <laughs> hey! If you notice, several times throughout the video, I plugged the. <laughs> So this actually comes with the set. That stand arm can plug in to his back. Hinge joint, his joint, his joint. There's actually a longer one that's more appropriate for what I'm about to do right now. And this is gonna plug in to this beautiful looking base that looks less like something for an SH figure arts and more like a Soul of Chagokin thing. So the base and this thing here is the reason why the box was relatively large. This whole assembly was disassembled out of the box, but the assembly is easy enough. And these construction beams, I guess, simply attach to the base. Plug in the smaller stand arm, plug him in, sit his fat ass down, ah! and that looks pretty great. The articulation here is practically limitless. There is so much you can do using the joints of this figure and this stand. In fact, the construction beam setup works a lot better for flying poses. Now, I know I haven't covered all the articulation on the figure just yet, but... <laughs> Fuck it, I'm moving on to the size comparisons. Here's Figma Madoka Kaname from Madoka Magica, another anime that you guys should watch also on Netflix. Previous review, the Soul of Jagokin Voltron, and the amazing Yamaguchi Revel Tech Spider-Man. <laughs> What is he? What is he? What is he? He is far the swivel, the swivel man. He swivel man. Some say he's an idiot. They say he's dumb as rock. He's the man who thinks it's fun to joke about his cock. Swivel out the hand, move up and down. Swivel out the shoulder, arm moves out. Bend out the elbow, swivel out the wrist. Ball joint here and swivel out the dance when action figures are at hand. A swivel in command. He is a creature with greasy hair. He's swivel man. Swivel man. One day he was touched by a tiny plastic hand. Learning of this blessed joint, he began to understand. Swivel at the waist and hip ball joint. Swivel at the thigh, oh, what's the point? Bend at the knee, I wish I was dead. Pivot at the ankle, beard bow spread. When action figures are at hand, the swivels in command. He is some funny, but I don't care. He's swivel man.
If you liked the video, leave a like, give me a comment, let me know what you think, and subscribe for more toy reviews. And if you wanted to take your own crack at Swivel Man no Oopa, check out SoundCloud. Links in the descriptions. All the stems that you need will be there. Also, check out Swivel Man no Uta on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, wherever music is sold. And we finally have some Swivel merch. Everything you would ever want is in the description, so... I'll see you next time!